Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. And here in the other corner is the unstoppable juggernaut. <laughs> What up, everyone? It is your boy, Jack Slater. And through requests for my email service, comicbookworld123 at gmail.com, I got a request. Since I have all these wonderful toys behind me, they wanted to see my action figures and do a little mashup on who I think would win in a fight to the end between Superman and Juggernaut. So I say, let the games begin. Now, this is my opinion, of course. So if you don't like it, you can bite my burrito. <laughs> so let me get a few things out of the way. I can write a book on the different ways to destroy Superman. Just let me say, when I read the comics, your boy had a hero when he read the comics. And bless that show Smallville because it had a lot of Lex Luthor in it. I called the Lex Luthor show. Up until they killed him, you rat bastards. Bite my rear for that. But at any rate, this man would be a pres better president than uh, the current administration than what's going on now. So, eh. <laughs> but uh, that's neither here or there. Speaking of Superman's weaknesses. I'm not going to take certain things into account like Kryptonite because I don't think Juggernaut, well, would even look for it or care. Red Sun, mm -mm. both are more earthbound and um, I don't see that happening. But magic, magic is a completely, completely different thing because uh, your boy Juggernaut, even though that uh, Bite My Burrito movie, X-Men The Last Stand, it sucked it sucked so bad it portrayed juggernaut as a mutant that is a load of horseshit Kane Marco got his powers through a gem Sidorak gem I believe maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong don't care but anyways pure magic it's the same thing that Doctor Strange has, Doctor Strange has with the eye of Argamoto. <laughs> what can I say? Magic has a lot of strange shit in it. But anyways, it's not an Affinity Gem. Oh, did I spoil something for you? I don't care. In the comic books, it's actually an eye that's attached to a god that exists in another realm. That provides power to it. The gem is just like that. It's a destroyer. From another dimension that was sent out of Earth for this reason or that reason. If you want a video on that, then send me a like, a yay or a nay. An up or a down and I'll do it. But until then, I ain't giving you that explanation. Alright. Now, if it was a blow to blow on Earth... And I'm not taking into account the comic book happy ending where the villain wins for a while and then <sniffs> something happens. And I'm not going to take into account Superman chucking Juggernaut into space. I know everyone, why did he just chuck him into space and in the sun? Because the gem resurrected him and he just come back down. Alright, so I'm going to take that into account. I'll, out of, the, out of the equation. I'm just going to make this a slugfest. Alright. An all out good old fashioned slugfest. <laughs> so. Let's get ready to rumble. Yes. Superman does have flight. He does have a certain amount of experience. But Kane Marco is. Oh you didn't know that. I was joking his real name. He's Professor X's stepbrother. 
if you don't know that, Jesus, you guys need to read comics. Or look up the 90 series of the X-Men, which is actually much more better than the uh, <laughs> current lie that is the X-Men, well, the first three X-Men movies. <laughs> Buy my burrito video for another day. Now, I think if it was Juggernaut versus Superman. I think Superman would have the edge for a while. I mean, but straight up, Superman's just ground and pound. Boom, boom, boom. I mean, he has basically a few moves fly into you, hit you, x ray, or heat vision, this and that. Without Batman, without the League to help him, I think if it was just a, a match, like a first round knockout. Your boy, Juggernaut, will get the win. Because his powers are magical, like I said before. Superman has an uber weakness to that. Especially when someone is unstoppable. I think Superman would get his ass pounded. Period. I mean, sure, you could fly. Sure, you do this and that. But eventually, Juggernaut would just wear him down. Like I said, unless he took the easy way out route out and threw him into space or something like that, Superman wouldn't win. I mean, let's be realistic, people. Juggernaut would just beat his ass. And that is my verdict on this rumble between Juggernaut and Superman. So if you were expecting that, That's just too bad, because it's my show, and I'm going to let you know how I think it flows. And I think your boy, the Juggernaut, will put that pimp hand down and let you know. Mm. So, hit that subscribe button, because you know your boy always roots for the villain in the movie. <laughs> Jack Slater, the comic outlaw, signing off. So, the next time, send requests on Let's Get Ready to Rumble.